say it's already done. Oh, can I hear you, Lakewood? It's already done. Oh, oh, it's already done. Christ did it for us. Welcome to the finished work program brought to you by Glory of Christ Ministries. On the finished work. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name. Mm. You have set your glory above the heavens and people see you and you have decided to put praise in the mouth of babes and sucklings wow. to punish your enemy. Psalms 45 and verse 2, 3, 5 talks about how we use our tongue to inflict the enemy. Yes, sir. Amen. Psalms 45, 45 verse 2 to 3. If, okay. You are the most excellent of men. Amen. You are the most excellent of men. You are the most of excellent of men. And your lips have been anointed with grace. And your lips, you who are children of God, your lips have been anointed with grace, the power of God yes. to do what you cannot do. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Grace means the ability to do what you cannot do in your own. Amen. So God has anointed your lips. They are so powerful. Hallelujah. To do what? Since God has blessed you forever. God has blessed you forever. Verse 3. Yes. Guard your sword on your side. Now. You mighty one. Now. Now. Guard your sword on your side. You mighty one. God addresses his children as mighty one. Hallelujah. God has anointed your lips with grace, the power and the ability to do what you cannot do. And he says, guard that sword. Guard that sword on your side. Amen. Which sword is talking about? He's talking about the lips. He's talking about the sword. So which sword? Let's go and see from verse 5. Yes. Close yourself with splendor and majesty. Uh -huh. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously. Uh -huh. In the cause of truth, uh -huh. humility and justice. Please go ahead. Ride on yes. that. I mean, I mean, do that. Uh -huh. Let your right hand achieve awesome deeds. Let your right hand do mm -hmm. awesome things. Yes. In verses 5, uh -huh. let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of exactly. the king's enemies. Guard your sword, almighty one. And anointed... Your lips have been anointed with grace. Let with grace now let your arrows. Wow! So, in other words, God is talking about the power in your tongue, and the word of God which is in you is the sword of the spirit to pierce to pierce the heart of the enemy. Oh, yes, let's see that break, and we'll be back shortly. Everything we see 
chapter 1 verse 12 right. but as many as received him as many now here God begins to uh, to single out yes because not every humanity is able to chase out the demons amen amen so who are the people who are going out to, to who are the people chosen to inflict pain who are the people chosen to be the workmanship to punish to bring punishment destined to, for, for the devil to, to do the will of God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. In fact, we remember there's a scripture which says, Sacrifice and offering, sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but a body you have given me to do your will. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So yes. in this scripture, God zeroes down. Yes. The Holy Spirit zeroes down. In other words, He's revealing to us that God is zeroing down to reveal a peculiar people who are called gods and who are supposed to punish the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Okay, read it again. I mean, yes. read it. But as many as received him. As many. It doesn't matter how many received. Hallelujah. I've had some people say, you know, this this power to cast out devils was only for the apostles of long ago. And once mm. they went, so <laughs> went the power of God. That's wow. not true. That's a lie. Here the Bible says, as many as, as received, received him, him yes uh-huh. to them gave he power to become the sons of god he, to them he gave he power to become sons of god so let me ask you what does the dog beget what does god give i mean what does the dog give birth to a dog what does man beget man what does god begot god so god gives birth to gods hallelujah man gives birth to man the dog gives birth to a dog. So when God speaks in 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 in, 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 in Psalms eighty two, wow. and He says He sits upon the assembly of His chosen ones, Hallelujah. and He addresses them and He says, "You are gods." 
This is what he was referring to. Wow. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of sons. God. That power, that, that word goes on saying, he, not according to the desires of men. They are, not, they are not born by the desires of men, not in a natural way. In mm. the weak in a, in a natural and weak way. But they were, born, they, were, they were born by the power of God. That word, it says, they were given power. Otherwise, if there is, it's a natural birth, they would have said they were born to God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. But he says, there isn't that power which transformed them, mm -hmm. trans, uh, transitioned them Amen. from humanity to sonship. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And once we became sons, what happened? Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Okay. Once we transitioned mm -hmm. from just mere men into children of God, yes. not born by natural means, but by the power of God, Hallelujah. what happened? Behold, I give unto you power. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 he says now behold mm -hmm. now I give behold unto you I power. give you power mm -hmm. NIV says behold I give you authority wow to tread on serpents and scorpions to tread NIV says to walk wow behold I give you power viewers you better listen to this this is so important oh I wish Hallelujah. somebody can may the Holy Spirit open up your eyes Amen. so that you may see what I mean as I'm addressing to you ladies and gentlemen I know some of you are already born in, in, in bondage and some of you are, 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 are captive to fears you, you are slaves to fear but this is what I'm saying you are no longer Supposed to fear, not like a slave to fear. Once oh, yes. you get this, once you know the truth, the truth will set you free. John Amen. chapter 8, verse 31 says, To the Jews who had believed him and continued in his word, he called unto them and he said, If, if you continue in my word and search the scriptures and understand it, then you will come to know the truth, and that truth will set you free. It will set you free from that fear of the enemy, fear of the devil. That the only, the, the, the only powerful weapon the enemy uses right now is not the power, but deception. Amen. He will deceive you into seeing, deceive you into thinking that maybe something horrible is coming. And he will use people, he will use dreams, he will use circumstances, oh, yeah. and you will believe. It's, it's like seeing a lion in the clouds. Oh, yeah. Sometimes clouds... They draw different pictures. Yeah, they draw different pictures. Sometimes you can see a lion, I mean, a, a, a picture of a lion in the mm -hmm. cloud. In, in the cloud. That, that, that doesn't mean there is a lion. But it's up to you how you see. Either you can run away or, 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 or you can stay. True. Amen. Amen. So anyway, the Bible here says he gave them power. To he walk. gave them power. Yes. To do what? To tread on serpents and scorpions. To tread. The word to tread means to walk. Mm -hmm. Not even to beg. Not even to do what? But, but to walk. Crush. So as you are walking, you are actually treading, treading on the powers. That's where they're supposed to belong. Why, is, why are we running here and they are trying to make a big deal of this? Oh, you see, I saw, I, you know, they have bewitched me. You know, there is witchcraft here. I saw a demon. If you saw a demon and you are in Christ, speak the word because from your tongue Amen. are swords of the spirit. Yes, right now we would love to hear from you, our audience. I'm called Dr. Brian. There is a message of God which really, I think, I can say, I was abstracted by the devil itself because from what you told us mankind me like me I'm very very powerful like a hundred times bigger than the devil yep. so I have the power to do anything on the devil and it has very minimal powers over my flesh not on my soul previously I used to know that uh, from physics you know I did science from physics that action and reaction that's what you tell us action and reaction are equal but opposite so god being there and certain being there they are equal but opposite okay. so i would be like for sure if i dare if i dare uh, oppose the certain 
is able to get me at one moment and takes me very well, yeah. Yeah. off quickly. Then if I dare go towards God, he can take me. If I go towards a certain, I'll go. So I'll be like, maybe God is so forgiving. I can just stay between there. Okay. <laughs> but from today, at least I've understood that wow. I'm more stronger than the devil and he has no powers over my Amen. soul, over anything of mine. Let's give it up for Dr. Thank Brian. You, people. Yeah, Dr. Brian, actually, yeah, we are, uh, that, that, that is a good observation that we are more stronger than the devil a hundred times. Amen. In Christ. In Christ. We have put on Christ. The reason why I said in Christ, the Bible calls us, I mean, the Bible says in Christ. Once we are in Christ, the devil doesn't see us, sees Christ. So whenever the devil sees you, he doesn't see Dr. Brian, he sees Christ who is in you and who is who you are inside of you. The demons have rankings. And if so, do high-ranking demons attack stronger people in salvation like pastors? What's your name once again? Paul Dream. Paul. Paul Dream. Paul Dream. Yes. Okay. Paul, if I if I've understood you, uh, do demons have ranks? Yes, they do, according to the book of Ephesians, uh, and also uh, when we read. Uh, the book of Revelation, we see that angels by nature have ranks. Oh, yeah. For example, we have uh, uh, the archangels, we have the cherubims, we have the uh, and the ordinary angels. So it's true, even when they fell, they still remained in those ranks. So it's true. And then another question is, do high-ranking demons attack uh, stronger, people. stronger people. Now, let let le, let me let me bring this to. Uh, I to, think he's referring to spiritual hierarchy. Yeah, spiritual hierarchy, like pastors, apostles, evangelists, and whatever. Uh, no, no. Uh, first of all, in the kingdom of heaven, there is no stronger people and weaker people. If I can put in quotes, what we have are children of God. All of us, by nature, if we are in Christ, we are powerful in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. But. On the other side, the, uh, we, demons will not attack you because you are stronger in terms of physical or whatever, but in how much you are impacting the world. The, dev, the, the, the demons may come to attack you uh, basing on the impact and the effect you are having on its kingdom. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, that, that's a powerful question, by the way. Yes, 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 Na ye elioyo e ya juwayo. Ani ya juwayo. Omuntu Adam. Ya juwayo eri omulabe. Bo ya juwayo eri omulabe. Katunda bo ya jia okuogera. Nga, nga koli. Nga, nga ayagala kupanishinga Adam. Obo okolima ya koli miransi. Na gamba nti okuvalero. Mfochebi muli. Bana kule tila magua. Okuita muntu yozo. Mwona alira anga. So ensine liyo kebera mbuchi. Mubu sibe obo. Uro kuita mubi kemo. Evi omu labe sitani. Echeo kubidi. Echeo kubidi. Echeleto orus evi zibu. Baibe tu gamba mu. Proverbs 19. Wamu ungeru kumina muenda. Oru nyididi. Oru okusatu. Luga amanti. Obu siru buomu untu. Bumule tira okubona abona. Chokate yi obu zibu. Na omutima kwa kusika kuguwana ganani. Neka tonda. From the audience. Solo omu lalini chivuzo. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Uh, Bishop, I have a question. Yeah, please go ahead. Can a believer be demon possessed? Okay. Uh, th that, that's a powerful word. Uh, first of all, we have to define those words. Can a believer be demon possessed? No. And I know it's going to attract many uh, criticism uh, from my, my viewers. Because in the church, they see people being cast out, uh, 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 demons cast out of, from believers. Now, demons can have access to believers, but they cannot possess. Wow. Because the word possess means to have 
control over, to be his, to have dominion. So can the devil, can the believer be a child of God at the same time be a possession of the devil? Practically not. So because we see it in the church, people, because people come in the church, that doesn't necessarily mean that all of them are believers. But true believers, child of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, they know who they are. The devil cannot have uh, uh, an inroad. Yes, the devil can have an inroad, sorry, can have an inroad, can influence, can try, can, you know, can manipulate, but he cannot possess, because the word possess means you are his, you belong to him. We are no longer, we are bought by the blood, we have been bought and redeemed from the powers of darkness to the powers of the kingdom of light, so therefore we cannot be in between, but through, but, 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 but through our ignorance, we, we can allow the devil to manipulate. Yes, praise God. Pastor, thank you for this session. I've really benefited a lot. Yeah, my question is, there is something that, that there is a scripture that has been really confusing me whenever I read it. It is in Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. So whenever I read it, I keep wondering, is Satan really the god of the world? Mm. Like, because there is where, there's where I'll he the world, tried to the world tempt Jesus. Like, telling him, I'll give you the world if you, like, worship me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a powerful uh, question. Okay. Uh, 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 Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 says, The god of this world. Now, that god is a small g. Oh, yeah. Meaning... The, the gods, like any other gods, the spirit. Now, is the, is the devil truly the god of this world? Not the god in terms of creation. All of us know in the, in, uh, through the, the, the Bible, uh, uh, John chapter 1 says, without him, nothing was created. Amen. And also, Colossians reveals the, the, the eminence of Christ as I, 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 everything was created for him and uh, uh, about him and for his glory. So everything was created for, I mean, it's, it was Christ, it was God who created everything. But how come the devil is referred to as the God, the small g? Now, the God here doesn't, uh, doesn't refer in creation to be the head. But God is a gentleman. When God created man, he gave man to have dominion, to rule. So here the Bible is talking about the, the authority. The authority. So when, when God created man, God officially handed over earth to man's domain, wow. to have dominion. In, in, in the book of Genesis chapter 2, God speaks that exp, uh, expressively. And then... Uh, 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 Psalms 115, God says that the heavens belongs to God, the earth was given to man to rule. So once he gave man the authority and the dominion to take over, to subdue the earth, man became the God of the earth. That's why in, in, in Psalms 82, God refers to man as you are God. Amen. In other words, you are the ruler. You have the supreme authority over. But man willingly through Adam handed over when he was deceived by the devil. He handed over. The what? Uh, the leadership, the rulership, the authority to the devil. So devil acquired the ownership, oh, the Douglas. title deed my by deceit. Uh, what authority do demons have over non-believers versus believers. Oh, wow. That, that, that's powerful. What authority do demons have over non-believers? Now, we have no question about that. What authority? 101%. Amen. Because once you are non-believer, not born again, because we, are, we must be born again to escape from the powers of darkness. But the first being born into this, or we are born we are born into this world. As long as we are born into this world, we are born into the dominion of darkness. 
and Satan has 101 authority over you. And he will do, he will use that authority to do whatever, whether to defame you, whether to bring, to throw sickness, whether to, to you know, you know, to, uh, um, how, what can I say? He can do as he pleases, he do as he, as he pleases to, 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 to insult you, to, dis, to, to disfigure you, to do whatever. To embarrass, to embarrass you. That's why to embarrass human beings. Sometimes he uses people uh, uh, to embarrass them. And you find a human being but eating poo others sussling where they sit, others eating on the dustbin. That's an embarrassment to, to God. So he can use. He, I mean, he has 100, 101 authority over them. Praise God. Amen. My question is, how much is a believer supposed to go in the secrets and names of demons? Okay, how far should a believer go into knowing the secrets of demons and, and the names of demons? I, I, I can say that we are not so much permitted into going so deep knowing the names and um, the, the secrets uh, I've forgotten, but uh, there's a scripture in the book of Revelation. I, maybe for those who are viewers, uh, we, we will put it down on the screen. On the screen, it's in the book of Rev uh, Revelation, where God uh, uh, rebukes uh, a certain church which has gone into, which has gone in depth in trying to know the secret of the devil and the names and so, so, so uh, those kind of stuff. We are supposed to know yes, that is the devil, and it's called Lucifer. It's called the devil. It's called this and this and whatever. And we know we have to, we have to know that yes, there is the powers of darkness, and we have to know that there, there are de demons who are the fallen angels. Amanya gangi zina shimba fridaus. Msumani namu kwano gwange gwena budi njiri na lokuka. Na ye awaka wabera na ba metolo deba sinza mizi muba samize. Kati abera atia abera alozanti yenge jari okumpe nyo ne mzimu alozanti jinzo okumu yingira. Kati akola atia nasa nyuka nyo nge chibuzo cha nchibuzo. Ya yeah, chibuzo chilonji nyo wewa nyo kuchibuza. Uh, Uwaruganda aina mkwano gwe. Uh, maybe wainzo kubayo nabatu uliriza nabatu laba. Oh, yes. Na wainzo chindu chechimu. Kaga makati naroko kane hati mbela umbantu ataba imwe mzimu tejide mune jinku wata. Now uh, njachi teka buwenti. Njachi teka buwenti. Nti uh, kankuwe example. Bwe tulo koka, kankuwe example, uh, museveni, haina mutamu wa mutamu hozi. Enya liye tufu. Um, ne hata ne wa ero siwa mwe, kuchitundu, na ye, kwari. Secho, uh, singa muhozi averanga enyumba ya jizimbo kwa tu gama ya gulata koko. Wa ero siwa so mugana, Ila kwa dayo wa musebe na mugamba na wadinja kuzimba wali ni hati katua EROC ya nemeseza dadi simanyiwe na akula soka na mkuboru hii. Kubanga wata manchia kora. So muhozi wa imirira ni wa EROC na imirira. Wa EROC ya ino soka na avunama na mugamba sanyi sokura basewa kusunucha fe wa uwega la sebo kugula. Ila kwa ngene sebo njogene haba tuze wa kuguze. Haba tuze wa nangiti mule mesa o musa jono kui wano ono mwana wa presidenti tumu waka kuchitundu. Ila ono bwa anajia. Kuja kwa tugobye obu avu. Tugobye ababia wadeba tuwe watu yiganya. Kuja kwa nesechu iteku no. Ila bananga wa tuze wa yagano gula mwe. Wachilabi. So katika nchiza na feje tuli. Tuli baana baka tonda. Omwa omuchia alo yowana mwana wa tuuliriza. Bobango olimu situation ya fana wetu. So kila dala. Waloko ka. Kuanga obuloko le bumanyi wa njini buo. Mm. Baibu le gantu mutu na mutima gwe. Amina atuwa na kamu wake. Aina kiza na mutima gwe. Katu mutima sugulaba. Katu guo gulaba. Na ye bonabaza, bonabaro kolebwa. Bonabaro kolebwa. Wafu kabana baka tonda. Mm. Ate chizabula katu onda. Chiwa angula chi. Chiwa angula nsi. Katu nsi wa gamba nsi. Tegiza sitani. Ne mizimu je. Katu ala ino kuduka. Buembanga ndi kuchitu ndu woku, nadamu waba abe, ona, agaye ntino singa mbeira nga na mpangi sani nga walikumpi na masabu ana ino kuduka omurokore na ange mfunye nja walikuwa nga wagamba musumbanza mpule nga nja kufawo kubanga walikuwa masabu siguo vawo kika ino kufawo siguo vawo kato woru gando yu aloko se na yate alimu bantu wa mfamili jarimu bachi agaye ntino basa mira you know what agama ntino akorechi Nedda, sigala wo, bubanga owuli yancho chari muto, uzuko chari muto, 
to na makufuna sende ze pangisi za kubanga yesu wabanga wa familia ya mwe to sobora kuvawo kubanga ochalwo totia te wali kirira te wali muzimu guinza kuyingira in fact te munso yo moyo te wali distance mu mubiro so kuchira banga ogala ka timbera mu familia yano muzimu de jinkwad nedda munso yo moyo te wali distance echi tu echi tu fu awali echi ziki za wente kabalubu so so agama balu bele gati ani de wani zje kubanga nanga pya tubere wa mu Kata uja wa juko chetuna muga so Na yu wala benziki za noga Wano walue nziki za kanteke ubaru Wano walue nziki za kanteke ubaru Barubu egenda wali chiziki za Nafe mukama taso wa kera unakurumu Na tuteka mukaro kamu Ngabaka ita believers village Tuja kwa etukona Tuja kwa etukona makuru Mukama ina kuteka muka tundu Awali ya masamize Awali ya masabo Awali chino Gwe chori no kora Gwe tegere chigambo cha katonda Tegera chori Tandi kukura gechitanga ala Nga echitanga uchila gotia Nga chobu ulira Ate chori Kubanga bali ya bantu Bubu bala wana maso Na ya te mioyo Jira wana muoyo Gwe chori mumuoyo Chige na kwa fektinge mioyo Ate chori mumubiri Chige na kwa fektinga wana Baja kula be neisayo Baja kula nga bala laba guwa Obu kumi nga bugueno En kumi nga sigwa Nga guwa siga lawo Aba laba luare nduwa de Gwe toru wala Aba laba funevi sibu Gwe ebisibu ebisibu wijia Ovi wangula Emitawana wejijia Oji wangula Echina avamu Baja teka kwebu uzako Na ye guwa korotia Ngo oja ye chitangara Ngo ochuwa vikulira Oba gama antifemu Nyala yesu Tuna kwa tanku nduwa Kukubaru wa de Neba na awonanga Emisota jina tulu manga So let's pray for the sick right now and people there who are being tormented by the devil because we have because we have that anointing, isn't it, church? Amen. A Amen. 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 Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for those who are watching us right now. We know they are going through hard moments and hard situations. We don't know what they might be going through, but you know. And we want to use this medium, which is the television, to reach into their bedroom, to reach into their sitting rooms, to reach into the hospital. Some of them are, uh, are, are, are admitted in the hospital. Some of them are in the jails. Uh, some of them are whatever in our situation. But in the name of Jesus, whatever circumstance the devil has used, we refuse it and we break it and we command in the name of Jesus to be free. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if... I, I mentioned what you were, and truly you knew that that's what you, you, you were, and you believe that God has set you free. I would want you to receive Christ in your heart. Amen. Because he's the only one who can keep you strong and keep you above the water so that you don't sink. Now you may repeat with me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I, surrender myself, I surrender myself, and I surrender my heart, surrender in the best way I know how. To you, Lord, you are the Lord of my life. Wash me clean with your blood and be sanctified. I have surrendered myself to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you are born again, not by natural means, but by the Spirit of God through faith. Thank you for tuning in to the Finished Work Program. Feel free to join us every Sunday at Glory of Christ Church, located in Kasubi, Kawala. Come, let's worship together, praise together, enjoy His presence together, and hear more of this life-changing word every day, every hour, every night. For more information, please contact the numbers on your screen and contact our social media. We look forward to hear from you. And don't forget to tune in next time, same time, same day.